this guide. Today we're gonna check out theory material parameters, presets, and also code function. Okay, so in order to do that, I'm going to merge model that I found online, Koenig's egg. This is a supercar. The link to download this car will be below. Okay, so let me uh, get this thing here going. So first I wanna add HDRI, so we'll have some lighting and we'll see what we're doing. I'll put this to front and here I'm gonna create HDRI. So let's say yes, activate that, put an HDRI dome. Now inside this dome, gonna put V-Ray bitmap and let's select texture I'm actually gonna use this texture that I found online so I'm gonna download that and just uh, drag and drop it I'm gonna cancel that and actually drag it to the material slot and drag and drop it here All right, now I can start my IPR. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, so we're gonna fix this uh, image, the HDRI image a little later. First, let's check out this parameter that I was talking about. So I'm going to select my glass and click on V-Ray material and actually I'm going to call it tinted it's going to be our tinted glass now inside this V-Ray material parameters as you can see we have a bunch of presets here so we can select different presets and load them up very easy addition so we actually have uh, tinted glass here as well but this one is a little bit too much so I'm gonna do really dark tinted glass all right now for that I'm going to set up to plastic so let's go down put it on plastic yellow is a default we can change it to black now you can see that it's getting this nice glossy effect that some of the tinted glass has but tinted glass also have another layer of coat to get nice reflection and we have it here this layer of coat so in order to use that I'm gonna put it on one and we start getting those nice sharp reflections here as you can see let me uh, open it a little bigger all right now those reflections can be also controlled if we increase the reflection value so let's put something like four is too much 2.2 yeah it's looking good okay now another thing that we can do here is color so we're gonna add some color to the tinted glass and you can see already the reflections are getting this nice bluish kind of tone for the tinted glass that's how the tinted glass works if you look at the tinted glasses always have this kind of bluish I think it comes from the film that they put on the glass all right so something like this and of course I can also use a code bump to break the reflections on the car you normally don't do that because car is a very slick thick glass that kind of has very uh, you know very fine reflections but in order to break them a little bit we can add uh, noise as you can see that's that's what it's actually doing to the glass it's breaking the reflections here again on the on the car you won't be able to see that so I'm gonna play a little bit with the with the size of this Okay, somewhere here and of course with the bump amount I'm going to reduce that I don't really want it to affect too much 
just slightly break the glass reflections give it a little bit more natural look maybe this one a little bit too much so it's 4.2 okay now I would use that in exterior glass buildings in the buildings you know how reflection breaks uh, big pieces big slabs of glass will never be completely 100% straight reflections will never produce straight reflections so this is a nice parameter to use in exterior glass okay now here we can see it breaks it a little bit so we don't get nice and sharp um, that's that's the effect of this coat so I'm actually going to remove that and um, let's check let's put it here and let's check how this whole thing looks all right so if you were following my previous tutorials you probably saw that um, you can actually add plane here to the car and if you use this shadow function you'll be able to get nice shadows and just make it uh, transparent and also you can fix the HDRI here by selecting finite dome uh, let's go and make it a little bit bigger something like this and the project height I'm assuming somewhere like uh, let me just straighten this image up so what I'm gonna do is select this HDRI and just rotate it horizontally let me get my car all right so now we got nice perspective lines the only thing is the height is not matching so I'm gonna match the height I think the person was somewhere here and I'm gonna remove the round edges all right so now it's looking very cool and ready to be used and tested okay so the thing about this coat why it's much faster than the previous one the previous one i mean v-ray blending material that's how we used to do it before we had the base and then we had the coat so we can put a lot of coats but it takes a lot of time to calculate because we have two materials that very takes into consideration in order to produce actually uh, one final result now if we don't use that and we use just the coat it actually uses that as a one material as just one single function that adds a lot of speed to your renderings if you do want to increase the quality of your reflections it's going to be right here okay so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial join me to discover the next sheen parameters for cloth and other soft objects